Hey, I'm back. Alright. Hey, how's it going? All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like technology trouble day. Alright, let's see if that works. Okay, who's there? Carol, you there? You were there a minute ago. Alright, I'm just going to hang out here for a second. Let the audience build up a bit, I hope. So, anyway, it is... Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, and this is tip number four for our series, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and um, hopefully some other people will jump in. Uh, when you join in, please make sure you let me know you're here. Um, drop me a comment. Oh, there's Carol. Good to see you. Um, all right. Um, hopefully... I won't have any more technology snafus uh, tonight. I've got to figure out what's going on with this. All right, so um, this is tip number four uh, for fire up your focus. Um, and last week we uh, we talked about uh, some some strategies um, that uh, you know how to, to feed feed yourself uh, to uh, better. Yeah, you know, better nutrition and and uh, uh, you know drinking water and things like that. Uh, how that affects your ability to focus, uh, in which I thought was appropriate going into Thanksgiving. Uh, and what we're going to be doing today is a little bit more about some uh, some different strategies for uh, releasing information. All right, so um, for for this one, uh, and you, when you think about it, if you're anything like me. Um, you feel like you have a million thoughts rushing around in your head at any given point in time, which you really do. You actually have more than that. Uh, there, there are so many uh, nerve impulses are going on, which are basically our thoughts. Um, and sometimes it's it's hard to actually deal with them because you've got so much going on. Um, and here's here's the deal that that thoughts are kind of like people uh, and pets. Uh, they just want to be acknowledged, um, and that's why the, a, a lot of these thoughts hang around because um, we sometimes do a really good job of trying not to acknowledge our thoughts and to not give them their their space and their place. And uh, by doing that, we make them stick around more because they want to be acknowledged. So um, here are a few tools that I've learned over the years. Uh, that give you the ability to give your thoughts the attention that in the that, that they desire uh, and to be able to release them uh, so it gives your brain a little bit more space okay. um, so the reason I call this the right stuff is because this is all about writing so what you need is you need paper and pencil all right uh, so here I have my handy dandy uh, team Perella journal thanks everybody from team Perella for supplying this for me it's a great journal um, so using a journal is a great way of uh, expressing your thoughts right? uh, so journaling is like a narrative description of your life um, so you put your thoughts and your experiences into words and you put them on paper um, now why is why am I saying putting on paper as opposed to, uh, you know, typing it in your computer or, or on your, your cell phone? Um, there's been a lot of research, you know, you know me in research, um, that shows that there is more brain activity when we are writing, when we're physically writing something than if we're typing. And uh, this is actually a cool little tip for people, uh, for your kids. Uh, or you know, if you're you're in school yourself, or you're trying to learn something, um, when you're really trying to learn something, 
write it down as opposed to typing it, right? Typing it, you can take faster notes. Um, and in some cases, the immediacy, uh, if, you, if you were to, to test the knowledge immediately after typing, people who type uh, sometimes tend to score a little bit higher uh, in terms of the, uh, the knowledge. Uh, but over the long haul, there's a huge shift and people who actually handwrite things have better recall of information and they have more detail to the information. So there's a tip for you. All right, so writing down. So uh, journaling. Um, there, there are two ways of doing this. Right? And, and actually both of the tips I'm going to give you, there are two ways of doing it. Um, and the first way is probably the most common way that people journal. Uh, is they they kind of do it at night. Uh, at the end of the day. Uh, so uh, it's basically like putting your, your day into words and it's kind of a, a historical recounting of, uh, of the events of your day. You know, what you did, how you thought, how you felt, and you put it into words uh, and it's generally done in this kind of a narrative fashion. Um, but there's another cool way of doing this, or cooler way, I should say, uh, and that's to do it at the start of your day. I right, see. So if you do it at the start of your day, what you do is you're you're taking the information, uh, you know, the, all your dreams and things like that, and you're you're writing and you write your day out. So you basically create the script for your day. So instead of recounting what has already happened, you as you journal, you journal about what you wish to create. Right, and so this allows you to use your your. Uh, imagination, your um, your intention, and bring things forward. Hey, okay, so that's a cool way of getting you know thoughts uh, out of your head uh, and into reality. Okay, so journaling you can do at night, recount, do in the morning, project. Okay, um, now this other one, this, this is a this is a fun one. Uh, it's called a brain dump. Um, and uh, there are there are two versions of the brain dump. Uh, there, are, there are all kinds of uh, um, little permutations of how you can do this. Right? Uh, but but here are the two main ones. Um, the first one is dealing with mostly um, it, it's kind of a, a success or a time management tool. Um, so with, with this method, what you're doing is you're, you're thinking about all the stuff that you have to get done. And that's one of the things that, that prevents us from being able to focus, right? We're thinking about all the things that we have to do and we can't find the thing that we need to do because we've got too many other things that we need to do. So what you do with this brain dump is uh, quite simple, right? Uh, you get a piece of paper, several pieces of paper probably, and uh, you just think about everything that is going on, all the tasks, all the things that, that uh, are rolling around in your head and you start writing them down. And you just write and you write and you write. Uh, it can be things like uh, take out the trash, uh, paint the garage, take the car in for service, pay my taxes, uh, write my resume, right? So all kinds of things. Anything that you think of that you have to do at some point, uh, you, you put those down on a piece of paper, okay? And then what you do is um, you take another piece of paper and, uh, or you can do three separate pieces of paper, however you want to do this, and you want to basically create three categories, right? Um, and how you word them, you know, I've heard different versions of this. Um, but basically, you have to have a must do. These are the things you got to do, right? There is no exception. These things have to be done. Then the should do, right? These are things that you should eventually get around to doing. And then the things that you would like to do, okay? So however you want to phrase that, it, it's really not, uh, that's not so important. Uh, the importance is uh, that you have one category, these are, you know, do or die sort of things. Uh, then the, the middle category, yeah, yeah, these are stuff I need to get around to. Um, and if I don't do them, then eventually, you know, it's going to create a problem. 
Um, and then the stuff that you, you know, you just kind of would like to get around to because see, the thing is, is that we tend to spend a lot of times, especially people who are procrastinators, we spend way too much time in the stuff that we'd like to do stage, uh, in order to avoid the stuff that we have to do. Okay. So what you do is you divide things and you take all the stuff from your list and you put them in their proper category. All right. So. Uh, you know, maybe uh, taking your car into the shop is something that, yeah, you probably should do it, you know, do for an oil change. Well, if the engine light is on, all right, and it's, you know, running really rough, then it, that really should be in the must do. Got to do that, right? Uh, so you move things, you put things in the place they need to be. Right? Is this something that you absolutely have to do? This has to get done. There are no exceptions. That's in your must do. Okay, I've got some time to do this one. I got to get around to eventually. Should do, All right? This is something that you know. Hey, if I have time, I could do it. Put that in the like too. All right. So you sort them out, and then what do you do? You attack the stuff that is in your must-do category, All right? Because those are the most important things. So you want to get that list knocked out, and then knock out the stuff that's on the should list, and then. You have time for the stuff that's on the, eh, if I got time, I'll get around to it sort of stuff. Right? And going through this prioritization process helps you exactly do that, prioritize. Right? So it helps you to identify what are the things that are truly necessary to be done, to be focused on. And that allows you then to, uh, you know, to attack, to put your energy exactly where it needs to be. Uh, so that gives you clarity so you're not thinking, well, I should do this, I should do this, I can't, right? I must do this, right? I should do this, I could do this, right? So this is one way of clearing out your mind, allowing you to focus, give everything a priority, right? And this last version of the mind dump, this is the one that I really like, and it's really, uh, boy, this is, this is a, a, a cool one. Uh, it's for major decluttering. Um, it's a complete dump. And um, it's a reboot, if you will. Um, so you're not just thinking about tasks. Right? So this is not so much a time management skill. This is a clear your mind thing. So especially when you're, you're dealing with a lot of frustration, um, particularly a lot of emotional issues, issues and things like that, where you just cannot seem to think straight, right? Um, this is a great way of doing it because what you're going to do is you're going to do basically stream of consciousness writing. So you get some paper out and I suggest not using something like uh, the, the journal that I had, but to actually use, you know, some, some loose leaf paper. Uh, and I'll explain why in just a second. Um, so you just start writing. Whatever pops into your head, you put it down on that paper. It doesn't need to make sense. It doesn't have to be grammatically correct. It doesn't have to have the proper spelling. It doesn't have to follow any syntax. And it doesn't have, you know, there, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever pops into your head, you put down on that piece of paper. Right? And you write and you write and you write until there's nothing left until everything that's been in your head has been put down on that piece of paper. So you've given every thought, every emotion, every concern, every fear, you've given it its moment. You've given, you've acknowledged it, right? And you've put it on that paper. When you're done with that, and this is why I say don't use something like a journal, use some loose, loose leaf paper. When you're done with that, Unlike the previous mind dump where you want to create lists and you want to keep those lists, this you want to get rid of. Right? So you write it all down, everything's down, then you take that, you burn it, you shred it, you do whatever you, you need to do, but you make it go away. Because what we're trying to do with this is we're trying to actually release the thoughts. We're not trying to prioritize our thoughts. We're not trying to clarify our thoughts. We're trying to release. Right? So whatever is in, you let it go out. You put it on that paper and then you destroy it. Right? And then what that does is it gives you, a, you know, a, you'll reach this moment of clarity where 
every thought that has been fighting for um, for attention has gotten its attention. And once it's got its attention, okay, it's cool. It's gone. Right? So this allows you to clear out your mind. Uh, so this is something that, that you know, I would suggest doing if you're uh, facing a, a fairly complex problem um, or if you know, you're dealing with a lot of issues and you just can't seem to get your mind clear and calm and right. right. This is an excellent way to do it. And then after doing that, then you can think about whatever it is that you need to think about uh, with a very clear and calm mind. Okay, so um, those are uh, those are my tips for using writing as a method of improving our focus. All right, so remember, thoughts want to have their space. They want to have uh, their acknowledgement, um, and um, this is this is a way that you can do it that uh, is creative uh, in the term in the context of journaling is very very creative. Uh, it uh, helps you create efficiency uh, with uh, the first method of doing the mind dump. Uh, and then it's a very, uh, very useful for releasing uh, any kind of pent up uh, emotions, uh, frustrations, thoughts, uh, you know, with, with doing the, the major mind dump. Um, and so they're, they're, these are all just really kind of cool tools that you can use um, to Give your thoughts uh, that moment that they need so that then you can move on to the next thing that you need to do. All right. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this week's tip. And uh, I've got one more in the series for you. And that's going to be next Tuesday. So uh, do me a favor. Uh, if you have been enjoying these, if you've got any insights from these, please make a comment. Uh, please share this with other people. Um, and, uh, in the new year, I plan on doing a lot more, uh, little stuff like this. And, uh, if you've got any suggestions of things that you'd like me to, to talk about, I'm all ears. So, uh, thanks a lot. And I hope to see you next week.